This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com skinner. All those white things on the surface, those are all dead fish from the red tide. On a happier note, we have these guys. Stop, Skinner. Hey. <laughs> you got me eating. Yes. The fat jokes look immense. I don't know, we don't I don't know where we're going, what we're doing. Wow, there's a lot of dead fish up ahead. Yeah, so the red tide's getting pretty bad in southwest Florida, but we're out about uh I don't know, about 20 miles out in the Gulf, 50 feet of water, and we're going to have some fun out here with, with my friends uh, John Sweeney and John Halkius on John Sweeney's new boat. And, uh, yeah, this is only my second time in the Gulf. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know much about what I'm doing here, and that's going to show. And we're on one of Florida's many artificial reefs. There are hundreds of them. Um, and the cool thing is we're going to go and look underwater at what these things look like and the fish on them because um, I'm going to drop the underwater camera down and uh, I've got some brilliant video of that. Uh, so this is my first drop with a sabiki rig. Idea is to um, just put that down, get some bait. And uh, yeah, I guess the, the target is grouper. Um, and uh, we're going to use whatever we can catch down there for bait. And all right, and here comes the first piece of bait. And as always, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, what There's did I one just... behind you that's... Oh, this is like Ooh, a, a grunt. Nice. For what? What is this good that's for? That's going to get you a fucking... Uh, that's a good one. That's going to take a group Do you live line it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll show you. Yeah, but don't worry. We'll teach you. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, so what I do? Hook this guy through the lips? Oh, yeah. You want help? Uh, under. Under. That's it. Okay. Wow, these things have some jaws on them. Holy yeah. smokes. And then Skinner, as tight as you can. On the drag? Yep, yep, I know. No Yeah, I understand. Around. I'm going to lock it. How's that? Yep, 20, it, it goes to 20 pounds, so. Okay, whatever you get. Yeah. All right, down we go. Let's go, Skinner. Get one. Show them who's boss. I, I have a hole up in that yellow bag. I got this yellow fish again. Oh, that's pretty, huh? Yeah. I, you know, I, I remember coming Is it on the chart? Oh, you know, I hung immediately. Huh? You got a fish on, no. dude. You want a group of them? Uh, I don't think so. No. Is your fish still on? We're not keeping these, right? They do look like rocks. Take a look on this side. Come here. Falcon, no, no, no. You want to look on there. If it's not on that short, if it's not on that short, I got him. Yeah? Oh, yeah, Skinner. Get him up. Oh, he came off. Oh. Right, right, right. Ah. Maybe I lost my. Yeah. No, he's still, I think he's still on there. I can't imagine what it looks like by now. I think he's still on there. I can't imagine what it looks like by now. Ounces? Yeah, and it's fine. I set up a three and it's too bad. What's this? Grouper? No. This, I'm presuming. You gotta throw it back. I don't yeah. think it's keeper. That's a oh, there's a keeper. thump. He's on. He's caught him. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, uh, muscle him up. Oh, why did they come off? You guys gotta check out my hook when I come back up. Little guy. It's on again. There we go. <laughs> you got him this time, Skinner. All right, you got. Good job. It's not that big. Yeah, no, I can see. Maybe it's a grouper we can keep. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, look how mangled he is! Oh, yes. oh god. Holy cow, Skinner. That is one <laughs> mangled fish.
Okay, uh, uh, that fish was lip hooked somehow. It ended up, the hook ended up in the side. Um, I've put a, uh, a fresh live one down. I mean, no, it, it, it cut, but I guess, you know, it can cut, right? So I didn't give it any, any line. God damn these things. There's nothing I could do. I pulled as hard as I could. He didn't take any line and the thing broke. I mean... Oh, they're having a lot of fun at my expense. Oh, the hooks here, uh, in line circles. Uh, you'll see a mix of stuff. I mean, you, you, I go down to Florida, I throw a lot of stuff in a Ziploc bag, so there's hooks mixed in different packages. It's, it's kind of disorganized. Um, but I kind of think the hooks we're using are a little bit on the small side, and that's why we're missing fish. But again, uh, what do I know? And the circle hooks are required by law uh, for this kind of fishing. I'm still not clear on what hook these gaps don't seem very uh this is this is what i was using see. you're using that okay yeah. so then i can use this how long is the leader sweetie uh four feet Oh shit! I had one on too. Muscle. Yeah, I am. You oh. got him. Yeah. You got him. Come on. Come on, weakling. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Come on. Need a hand? <laughs> Good job. You got him. You got him. He's yours now. He's still feeling. And I'm yeah, I know. I know. Locked. I'm all the way locked, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good I'm job, man. Wow, yeah, now nice. Dude, I'm gonna come help you. <laughs> oh shit! Oh! No. You broke off? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Holy good shit, job, dude. Good fight. Yeah. Oh, that was a good fight. Hey, I never had a fish peel drag with this thing locked last week. That, that, you know that? Yeah. Yeah, that I, was that was a good one. I bet you that was bigger than anything. You oh, that was last that week. was definitely the bigger. Oh, look at that. Took the bait. No, I got my hook. All right. Which I'm happy about. Oh. So these are very stiff rods. I'm using a Sloopster rod and uh, it's rated 80 to 200 pound braid. Um, that doesn't seem quite right. But anyway, I'm using 80. Sweeney's got 65 on his and that's a very stiff rod. So uh, yeah, we're really trying to put pressure on these fish. He's on, Skitter's Skitter's on. on. Oh, nice bite too. Down. Hold on, keep reeling. Go ahead, reel it down. Go ahead. Yep. Bring it up again, reel it down. There he is. Congrats. Alright. Nice one, too. Woo! Big boy. That's a Goliath. That's funny, bro. Man, that's nice, man. Nice fish, dude. Okay. Go pliers or something? Um, yes, uh, along those pliers or something. Now, what's the deal with the mouth? Yeah. Uh, it has teeth, they'll, they'll graze you. Because I saw Halky is bleeding all over. Yeah. Yeah. Nice catch, buddy. Good job. How you doing, uh, are you I, I, rock? But I have a fish on. Okay. And this, this guy has uh, line oh, hanging line. off of him. Which Boy, this is your best pair of pliers. <laughs> Oh, they suck, right? Well, Sorry. yeah. And I, oh yeah, I'm not reaching my mouth and my hand in there. Yeah, I do. Stay. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh. Yeah. Now, Skinner, when you're done, if I could just sneak in your spot to see if maybe I can. Get yeah, get out. in there. Go in there. Get in there. Because he's still on. I'm, I'm done fishing for the day anyway. <laughs> Some bite. Well, that's not true, but my plan was if I could land something like that, um, then I was going to put the underwater camera down on that same rod uh, because I'm dying to see what's down here. So in the state of Florida, they have like I don't know, certainly hundreds of reefs. Maybe there's more than a thousand. I don't know. But what they do is when they break up roads and bridges and other things, they take that cement and all kinds of stuff and they create artificial reefs. And uh, if they didn't do that in southwest Florida, uh, there wouldn't be much in the way of structure. Uh, it's just, you know, a pretty somewhat boring bottom uh, for the most part. But with these reefs, uh, it works out really well. And uh, so what you see here, you know, there's some kind of cement blocks. And those fish that you see are grunts, like uh, the one that I used for bait. And um, you see there's some fishing line, some mono uh, wrapped on there. Uh, and what's kind of interesting, if you watch this, you'll see it better in, a, in another clip, but look at how that water is going back and forth and back and forth. Uh, like I said, we're in like 50 feet of water, and um, there's at most a three-foot swell. I mean, there is a little bit of a swell. <clears throat> it's not much, but it's enough. To, you look at that sand blowing around. It's enough to stir the bottom. So you can imagine when it's rough how much that bottom could be stirred up. Now, as good as that action looked, that was it. Uh, that was the only fish we boated, um, and we only hooked a couple briefly after that. So, hey, I'm picking up the camera, so now we get a little bit, uh, we'll pause on a little bit higher view, and it's, Jesus, it's kind of like a rock jetty almost. Um, you know, just a bunch of stuff that's been dumped down there, and uh, yeah, it's working out. Okay, here's another drop. We're going back down. I'm going to want to move this camera once in a while because you never know. You put it down and uh, you know it may not be positioned well. So you want to move it a few times, make sure something is good. Yeah, you see a coup de tail up there. It, we'll, we'll get to that. We're going to see a lot more of that. And that was one of the more interesting things. I don't know what kind of fish that is. Uh, somebody could tell me if they know. Um, there's so many different things down there. Um, yeah, so we're going to get to see some better stuff here in addition to these grunts um, yeah there's a big cuda in the background so um, we're also going to get a grouper to make an appearance oh and there he is upper right can't tell on the size but he's some distance away that's you know and just you can tell by the way it moves that's a pretty sizable fish so when I stop talking you can hear a lot of like uh, almost sounds like rain I don't know what that sound is but what I notice is you do not hear the trolling motor we are anchored with the trolling motor and that motor is like going on and off to hold the position um, I don't hear that on the camera uh, you know whether the fish can hear it or not I, I don't know but it's not showing up on the camera there's that grouper again Big grouper for sure. I have no idea what kind. Interesting that whatever these are, they didn't seem like they were really on the structure itself, but a little farther off um, on the sand. So by the way, if you try this with your own camera, be aware that, yeah, you could definitely easily lose it because that is a real snaggy bottom. Um, I've got a, a weight on there to keep it down, and uh, that's on a lighter piece of line. All right, so this 
is a really cool drop because the camera is going to land the wrong way looking up and look at those sticks up there those are all barracuda we're going to get to see that and the cool thing is we had no clue there were any cudas look at this guy um, we had nothing chopped you know we're bringing up fish on the sabiki rig we're live lining fish no idea whatsoever that these things are around and there are apparently a lot of them and uh yep and they look large boy they would have been a battle um so that was a real surprise that's one of the cool things about dropping a, a video camera down is you, you see stuff that you just you know didn't know was there and i've fished for and caught uh kudas on the flats on plugs and tubes and all that kind of stuff hey if anybody knows how to catch those kudas that i would be interested in because uh yeah they look big and they're probably fun uh, at least to catch a couple of them anyway. Okay, I'm going to be quiet now and leave you with the peacefulness of the bottom and we're going to get to see another grouper and it's going to flare its gills and yeah, it's got quite a, a, a mouth on those things. All right, so uh, thanks to Sweeney for getting us out there and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe.